tireless and outside the Washington Beltway campaign of Senator Bob Dole, who rocked the Capitol yesterday with his announcement that he's quitting the Senate to campaign full time. First stop, Chicago. Of course, that's Democrat country, but he did have a new stump speech and a new look. Here's NBC's Lisa Myers. Dole left Washington in the uniform of a Washington insider and arrived in Middle America with a new casual look. We want Bob. We want Bob. In his first interview since yesterday's dramatic announcement, Dole said he was sending a message. Bob Dole is part of America, not part of some little group uh, of politicians inside the Beltway. So this is the attire of a real American versus a Washington insider? Uh, I may be a little behind the time, but it feels pretty good not to have a necktie on. It will take more than a wardrobe change to erase Dole's image as a creature of Congress. And he still must navigate tough issues like abortion and the minimum wage. At a diner, Dole was asked if Congress would increase the minimum wage. Yeah, yeah it'd be raised. Dole has spent much of the last month fighting an increase. But mostly voters wanted to talk about his resignation from Congress. Are you afraid to courageous? Wow. Is it a relief to have your announcement over? It's a relief. But I, I, was, uh, I was at peace with myself. I knew I was going to do this 30 days ago, and I slept well every night. Dole's advisors acknowledge that before he can begin to close the gap with Clinton, Dole must finally find his voice and his vision. Otherwise, yesterday's bold gambit will be for naught. Dole offered no new substantive proposals today, but said his vision is simple. A more decent, honest, less violent, more prosperous country. Some would say, I feel your pain. I want to cure your pain. I want to make America better. I want America to be a better place. To make it better and to get the nation to take a new look at a man who has spent a lifetime as the ultimate Washington insider. Lisa Myers, NBC News, Chicago. On Wall Street today, the Dow was up in very heavy trading, and so was the Nasdaq to another record high. When we come back, NBC News in depth tonight, he was one of Washington's most powerful men. Now, Dan Rostenkowski prepares for prison and an operation. We'll have an in-depth report.